What is up YouTube? Carl here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, we're going to unbox my Jordan 1 Off-White haul from Manila Sneaker Expo 7. If you guys haven't checked out my coverage of this event, I will put the link down below to the entire playlist of the videos that I uploaded about this event. Binge watch them in case you guys haven't yet. to the channel yet please make sure that you do so because we are about to announce the winners of our latest giveaway all you have to do is to subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram hit the notification bell and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics go now before we get to the unboxing and the reveal of the jordan ones that i ended up copying uh, during manila sneaker expo 7 i want to address that blank spot here at my back the racks behind me, as you guys probably can tell, is meant to display the Off-White The 10 collection, the OG 10, which I worked so hard on completing this 2018. There used to be a Blazer mid-OG up there, but it's missing because I ended up selling it. Why did I sell it? Mainly because I wanted to go a size up. I actually got it true to size, but I accidentally got another pair, the one in black, uh, one size up, and it fits so much more, so much better. So I had the opportunity to flip it and then get a pair in my size, so I ended up doing just that. So guys, fresh from Bacolod, we have here the Nike Off-White Blazer Mid OG, and we will be unboxing it and checking it together. So we have my trusty knife, I, well, scissors. I should probably invest in like a good, uh, what they call this, unboxing knife since I do this frequently. Uh, and so I won't end up just using a crappy pair of scissors that aren't even sharp enough to cut through tape for crying out loud. And someone's gonna get hurt <laughs> with me doing this. By the way, quick shout out to Justin. Justin was the guy who actually helped me secure this pair. And he's actually the same guy who sold me the, what do you call this? He sold me the Air Max 90s off-white. So Justin, shout out to you, guy, to you, man. I appreciate the friendship. I look forward to visiting you in a Bacolod when I go there uh, next year. So here we have the box. It comes in your brown carton box with Nike swoosh at the front. The box isn't really in the best condition, but that's okay. I buy not to sell, I buy to wear. If you take a look at the side of the sneaker, it says there the 10 Nike Blazer Mid size 13. So this is a full size up. Uh, and again, I, it might not be the same for you guys. Some of you might be really well off already. Uh, with going through to size, but for me, when I, when I fit the size 13, the full size up, it was just so much more comfortable, maybe because of my YV, who knows? So yeah, let's just pop it open. You have that deconstructed box with the Nike logo, red Nike logo, red Nike box internally, then you have the, the off-white paper, and here you go, finally, it's home! It's home! I have it back in my collection, it's here once again. Guys, this is it, we have it back. This is the Nike Off-White Blazer Mid finally back home here at my condo. Now that looks much better complete. By the way, the Black Presto is up there because the OG one is being clean. Now let's get to the unboxing. From Manila Sneaker Expo, I ended up copying two Jordan 1s. This one comes in a very special box that I really didn't recognize that I needed to Google. The second one is in a very familiar box with a very cool deconstructed vibe. And just so we round this off, I will be adding another Jordan Off-1 sneaker that I will be unboxing for this vlog. So we have a triple Jordan 1 unboxing. Let's get started with this pair. This is a pair that I've had my eye on ever since it came out online and I really never thought that I would end up copying it mainly because it was already a stretch to be able to cop if not just one all of the off-white OG 10 but hey uh, luck was on my side I was able to raise funds for various reasons and businesses and I was finally able to be able to land this deal uh, over at Manila Sneaker Expo 7 so it comes in that a Nike deconstructed box, which it's actually different from the other off-white boxes that you guys saw earlier where it was inside out. This one has like some sort of cool flap that allows you to open it and it's covered with plastic so you can take a peek at what the sneaker is. So let's take a peek. So as you guys can see, and I'll just pop it open and kill the suspense, this is the off-white 
Nike Jordan 1 in the white colorway. Yes, it is finally here. It joins the Jordan 1 Chicago Off-White at my back in my collection. Now this one, guys, is dead stock, brand new. You can literally lick the outsole of this and it would be pretty much okay. Now this pair is actually a European exclusive when it came out and it even came out with women's sizes when it came out, uh, I think it was earlier this year, sometime around March. Now the great thing about it is obviously the colorway. You have it plain in mostly in white and in shades of cream with accents of orange and some sort of like blue color. I also love that this is one of the first times that they started releasing this baby blue cable tag that you have here. But more than anything, I just love how clean it looks, how nice it looks for a Jordan 1. I am just really worried that how fast this can get dirty, especially the toe box that you guys have here. So let's set the shoe aside. This is the left pair. We have the right pair over here. Again, guys, this is still dead stock. Brand new, looks amazing. Take a look at that suede at the back. Take a look at the other side. The shipping address, the toe box, the outsole. Just looks so amazing. The flap with the 85. And then what else is in the box? We have shoelaces. There are actually four. So you have black, baby blue, orange, and purple. And then plus the white one that it came in. So there are a total of five shoelaces. Guys, watch out for my full review of this pair in the coming days ahead. I will be adding it to my long list of sneakers to do full reviews on this holiday season. Now, the next pair that I'm going to unbox isn't something that I picked up from Manila Sneaker Expo 7, but it is an off-white Jordan 1 sneaker. So might as well take the opportunity to unbox it for you all today. This, as you guys can see, is the Jordan 1 off-white UNC and that pretty much completes the Jordan 1 off-white trifecta for my collection so far. I am ah, happy and thrilled to finally be able to do that. So let's just take the box apart. Let's open it. And this is the sneaker. Wow. Again, guys, this is still dead stock, brand new. It's even still unlaced as you guys can see here. I mean, it just looks so amazing with that UNC baby blue color of blue and white. See the air quotation marks over there, the orange tag. I mean, just looks so clean, so fresh. The suede over here, man. I mean, there's really something about the Jordan 1 that just captures the imagination and the, you know, and, the, and really the imagination of my generation of basketball fans who grew up watching actually Michael Jordan on the TV, not just on YouTube and not just in highlights online. So yeah, this one's so sick, super cool. So again, this one I copped, like actually this has been sitting in the boxes to my left when I did the room tour for the longest time. I just wasn't, I just didn't have the opportunity to unbox it, much less wear it. So I will be looking forward to wearing this in the coming days ahead and finally doing my full review for this pair. Now this is the right pair, as you guys can see here. Let's take out the left pair. And it comes with that oh so familiar a red Ziploc tag, cable tag, and you have, it comes with two extra laces, one in blue, one in orange, and the default one that it has is color white. It has a card for, from GOAT, so obviously that's where this sneaker was procured. The last pair I'm going to unbox for you guys is literally something that I had to Google <laughs> because it's something that I really have no idea about. Uh, even when it was sold to me. I bought it mainly off the look and the vibe and the style of the sneaker. And when I got home, that's the time when I was finally able to research about it. Now, this sneaker came out in 2012. It was a collaboration between UK artist Dave White. To be frank with you guys, I have no idea what his background is. And I really just went with the style of this sneaker because it is so unique, it is so kick-ass, and it is just so different from all the sneakers that we've been seeing lately, the deconstructed thing that's been going on for a long, well, for the last year. So just because it was so different, I wanted to cop it. So again, this is the Dave White Jordan 1. And it just looks so fire. I mean, take a look at that. It looks so different, like what I mentioned, compared to all the sneakers that you guys are seeing lately. 
you have that black suede toe box over here, that black leather toe cap. You have the elephant print over here and that's some sort of like, I don't know, like paint splatter on both the medial and the lateral side of the sneaker. That same red splatter here near the back of the heel. And then it, when you go up onto the collar, it becomes that red leather material and you have the Jordan logo, Jumpman logo with splatters of red paint. And if you take a look, at what's written on the laces it says here wings for the future so the left the right pair has black laces with wings of the future written on them the left pair is actually uh the one that has red laces so if you take a look at both pairs it just looks so fire on feet and so ridiculously amazingly good looking I, i'm running out of adjectives so this one at the back says on either end you have the jump mad logo and you have 23. this pair was pretty much a steal ended up copying it for just a little i think if it was seven thousand pesos which is a great deal if you ask me as promised shout out to ken dope on instagram and jason tensuan who were the guys who sold this pair to me ken jason you guys rock thank you for bringing this to me thank you for hunting me down at Manila Sneaker Con because you knew that this pair would not only talk to me but would fit me. This is a size 13 so it is a little bit bigger but yeah I can rock it. I can wear it with thick socks and I'm excited to finally able to break this in this coming weekend when I wear it. So yeah guys that's it for our unboxing and most likely this will be the last video that we have for Manila Sneaker Expo 7. I will put a link again down below to the entire playlist. We have I think four or five videos for Manila Sneaker Expo 7 and you can binge watch all of them in case you guys haven't yet. Maraming maraming salamat to everybody that I met during Manila Sneaker Expo 7. It was fantastic. It was an amazing experience. It was fantastic just meeting every single one of you. I probably took like over a hundred selfies that day with different people, different viewers of this channel. And like what I keep saying, it's so much better to put faces and talk to actual viewers versus every night talking to an inanimate camera trying to draw energy so that you feel that I am excited and authentic. So it's so much better having a face to talk to, having a real person to talk to, and I find that so humbling and such an amazing experience and I look forward to doing it again in the near future. So again guys, maraming salamat po. That's it for this vlog. What's up? God bless. Boom!